what's going on everybody welcome back to Calisos Reef while I'm here feeding the tank I want to do this quick um, unboxing video and I finally finally got my marine coral filter it's a coral lens I mean a phone lens <laughs> sorry for for the phone so when you record <coughs> your videos with the blue light people can appreciate more of the corals and the way they look so let's get to it and let's see what I got in there so I already know what comes in it so one little thing I'm only disappointed uh, that it came in the package but so we got the yellow one we got the orange one and we got a clear one and then we got the coral um the lens clip to clip it on the phone um one thing that i didn't like about this is it don't bring the little rag to clean the lenses but i'm pretty sure i got one laying around should have came with his own so but i guess not i didn't came with it but I want to just, you know, do this quick unboxing and show you guys what we're going to be working with. So this one is to zoom in. So it could be, say, ma macro, uh, macro, macro, however you say that, 10x. So it's to make, basically make a little bit bigger. This is um, orange, 37 millimeters. So it's the orange lens. And this is the yellow one is the same thing 37 millimeters so while I'm here let me open this one uh, let me take this out of here just to show you guys a quick view how they gonna look in this goes here I just want to show you guys um the difference in how big it look with it so that one is already attached you guys can see this is how it's gonna look macro 10x so basically it's a little bit dirty that's me well, all my dirtiness but as you guys can see that's the core right there we're gonna be viewing and with this it just make it a little bit bigger not that much but not bad so now, since that is on, let me attach one of the lenses and see how it looks. So this is going to be the orange. Let me switch hands because I'm a right-handed man, not lefty. So I'm just going to attach this lens also to it. Okay, it's nice and attached. So now let's take a view of how they look. So again, that's the view. And voila. Wow. More interesting. I like it. I like the way it looks. Um, I haven't done a video about this little rock here, but this is my jewels, I could say, um, Zoas that I got. There's quite a few in there. Uh, exotic ones, you could say. Eye catching ones. So. But that's how I look with the sorry for the reflection in the glass. Uh, I already checked this before and I I don't like that much the way you look with the orange one. I like the yellowish one um better. And I'm gonna show you guys why. So again, that's the view. Let me switch the top one. Right, it's out. I'm gonna put it right where it goes. And now, let me open this one. And just so you guys can see how this quick view. Yep, this is with the yellow. Look way better. Like it could just give it more or a daylight look to it. So. 
I'm assuming before the coils start closing, the guy just fed them. So, all right, let's put the clip on the phone. Take a view. You know what? Let me lower the, put the more of the bluish light so you guys can get a better view of what I'm seeing. And look at that. Wow, that's amazing. So this, this rock right here is the rock um, those corals that I got in this rock is the one that I had in the trophy rack. Um, I decided just to put them in this tank since, you know, I'm more focuses in this tank for now because the, the main display I got upstairs is going to be rebuilt once I get the new tank that is coming soon. Look at this algae. Again, this is the algae that I found under the mushroom rock that I had in here. I got the mushrooms back there. Uh, you know, I cut the rock in different pieces and gave them to a friend. And I just kept a few. Because they multiply a lot. But look at how beautiful this thing looks. It look uh, um, foggy like that because it got the, um, the lens that is zooming a little bit. That's the view. And that's how it looks with the lens. Beautiful. I'm loving, loving, and loving it. But yeah, so, you know, like I said, it was a quick unboxing. So you guys can see here I got my little table. Um, I was picking out of the rock some um, Neret snails. No, Neret. Uh, no, the, what was the name? Neret snails? Something like, no, no, not Neret snails. Um, the vermit snails. This little suckers right here. Let me try to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, I, I grabbed quite a few out of the rocks. They like to irritate a lot of the corals. So I take care of that already. And this is the tool that I use. Oh, some little pliers, nail cutters. The ones with the little curve, some scissors, you know. That's, this was unnecessary, but this one right here is good for crevices um, where you cannot reach with the pliers, then you use this thing. Um, all this came in a little nail um, set that I got. So, and that's what I used to get them out. And there's the trophy um, frag rack that I made. I got future plans for that. That's my baby. That's my daughter. Love her. Mwah. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is what I've been doing over here. Just feeding the tank. Um, corals are doing good. As you guys can see, that palito right there is multiplying. Look how big the other little head got. It's doing beautiful. It's already attached to the rock. That's a plus. But everything is looking nice. Let me put the lens back on. So you guys can appreciate better. But look at how beautiful they look. So I know here I got some rastas, some watermelons, some dragon eye, um, fruity loops, uh, the firing ice, I believe is this one down down here. I believe that's the firing ice, and I think this is the bam bam. If I'm if I'm not correct, please correct me in the comment section below. And this back here, I don't know exactly where are they yet. Uh, somebody said it was some type of hornet. So let me see if I could get a better view through this side. Yep, right there. Um, yeah, some type of hornet they say it is. So I don't know. But yeah, guys, look how beautiful that looks with, with this. That's beautiful look how clear let me see the fish look at the fish you can appreciate the fish even more that thing looks amazing the clownfish the clownfish name is ola since it's all white look like snow and the seahorse doing fine and back there we got the mandarin She's picking out of the rocks. But everything in the tank is doing good. 
that's a good thing over here the olive mandarin is doing great too you guys can see he's eating fine too he's already eating frozen food and i'm loving it so he got a little bit skinny at the beginning and he getting his weight back up so that's a good thing over here look at that it's full of little creatures everywhere this is my refugium slash quarantine tank so at night time these lights come on those are the grow lights now look at that look at how much this thing has grow with with the lights now i got some feather calarpa some shadow uh, some um dragon breath and the purple one i got here this nice and purplish one if anybody can identify that type of uh, algae please leave it in the comment section below i appreciate it it's beautiful i can't wait for it to grow if anybody's interested in some of that for your refugium let me know i'm growing some frags so once i get them nice and like this size of frags let me know and we can work something out i don't mind and pretty soon um for for a youtuber friend um the land shark i'm gonna do that video about you know how easy it is to record videos and make them look nice i'm not no pro in doing it but you know i got a simple way to do it and and i think a lot of beginners doing videos they can use my technique and make some nice video for everybody to watch all right so thank you again that was my unboxing slash update on the tanks and i see you guys in the next one all right happy reefing everyone take care